welcome Leo and Elliot to the stage. Good morning and hello everybody. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come out here to the Idea Exchange 2018. As he said, I'm Leo Baumgart. I'm the Chief Sales Officer for Sue, and this is Elliot Strain, a Product Development Engineer. We're here today, get that to go. we're going to start off with a little uh, rice humor, as everybody knows what happens with uh, rice when you add a little moisture to it. Uh, by the laugh, I'll go with very little rice humor. <laughs> Uh, storing rice. You always have problems with the variables in storing rice. You've got moisture, you've got dust, which is fine particles clumping together, improper aeration, and the pubescence of rice. Uh, there's another good word for you there, Steve, pubescence. The, uh, all these variables added up together are going to give you some problems. They're either going to give you like the hard packs, the hard peak type things, the grain stacks, and the clay, uh, cake clumps. Now what you see there is the stirators. Uh, working on that cake clumps, it just doesn't get it done when they start to cake up like that. So you get to store rice, you got some options. You can use a, an auger sweep. Uh, the problem with that is the auger cuts the rice and it also creates tunnels down there when it's hard to cake like that. Now these are really extreme. You see these rice is pretty old. This is another way to do it. And please don't do this. Um, these are actual guys that we have pictures of doing that. These guys have been down doing this for 10 years, we met with the customer, brought a group of engineers going down there, and when we saw pictures of this, and they were described, oh my God, I'm sorry, uh, when they were describing their issues and what they had, they showed us these pictures and kind of took me back. I got really concerned for their safety, so. Uh, yeah, yeah we, we don't want you doing this. Uh, what happens is the sweep is gonna run up against these hard packs and this hard cake, and then it just can't go. So now you gotta do something to get it out of there. So what do you do for an option? Well, you use the new air assist paddle sweep. Now, what that does is it breaks up the crusted difficult areas with, with a blast of air. And it, it's not just a steady flow of air, it's a blast. And we uh, use a shock wave type thing to uh, break up the, the uh, grain, whether it's rice or whatever you're talking about there. You can see that it's going to reduce the labor. And first of all, it's going to help on the safety. You don't have to have people going into the bin and climbing up on a big pile with long rods trying to break this stuff up. See a little action here? This is a, a type nozzle or option that we have. It's the uh, agitator. It keeps the grain free flowing so it can keep sweeping. And I think we missed the video. We had a uh, slow motion video of our blast nozzle. It, uh, it was high volume, high, there it is right there. Uh, it was high volume, high pressure, just shock wave that would blast those clumps and break them up to allow the grain to cool. And the idea from this came from those guys that were poking at a stick next to the auger and then they would try all these different things. They put an air nozzle at the end of it and it was blowing. So we just decided to keep this zero entry friendly and to protect the customer. There you can see with the, uh, the air whips, two different styles. You can do a shock wave or with the air whip, depending upon the condition in your bin. And uh, the day bin paddle sweep, the innovators in the paddle sweep industry, we're always working to be the company that is engineering safe solutions for getting grain out of your bin. Solutions that require less labor, solutions that result in less cost, less injuries, and a better experience for you all around. Come see us at the Sioux Steel booth 1045 and help us celebrate our 100th year anniversary in the business. Thank you.